Hi Cancerians, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings for Heart. So we're going to do, revisit one of the bonus readings that we've done a couple of times before. Um, this is the How Does Your Ex Feel About You reading uh, for you Cancerians. Um, I've cut it down a little bit. I'm not putting clarifiers on all of the areas like I would usually do. Uh, in private readings, a lot of people have ordered this reading from the website, but in private readings we usually put clarifiers on all of the areas. However, for time purposes, because I want to try and keep this reading within about the 30 minute stage, I don't put all the clarifiers down, probably just on the last bit, okay? But in a personal reading, the reading, this is around 30 minutes long, cut short, but uh, on the personal reading, the reading usually goes from an hour to an hour and a half, okay, for personal clients. So for the reading, we're using the Tower of Dreams, Chiro Marchetti. Um, beautiful, beautiful deck of cards, really like this deck. And we're also using the Hanson Roberts uh, miniature deck for clarifiers, okay? So with that being said, let's make a start on your reading. And this is, you know, if you're in a really good relationship, I'm sorry about the fluff on the on my table, guys. It's so annoying. Uh, I can't remember who it was. Some person bought me this, uh, <laughs> bought me this for my table some time ago. Um, yeah, and this is kind of like, ugh. It just gets fluff on it, so I'm going to try and change this at some point, definitely. I don't, I just don't know what I'm looking for, really, to go over a desk so that the readings, you know, it doesn't get all fluffed up on screen. Anyway, <clears throat> so what we're going to do, Cancerians, is we are going to start shuffling the cards and uh, just asking how your ex feels about you. It's a 12 area reading, okay? So Universe Spirit, this is a reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. Can you show me the X, please? If you're in a relationship, guys, then and it's perfectly happy this reading isn't for you. All right? If you've got an X and you're wondering how they feel about you, then this is a general reading. For some of you, it will relate. For some of you guys, it won't. All right? So Universe Spirit, show me the zodiac Cancer. Who is their X? Who are their X in their life right now? Who's the X? of Cancerians in their life right now, show me in card number one, position one, position two, what are the X's strengths as a person, let's pull this over a little bit here, what are the X's strengths as a person, good or bad, show me, uh, position three, pull this up a little bit here so we've got enough space, Position three, I'm sorry about these marks, they're really getting on my nerves. Oh, this will have to be changed. Okay, position three, Let's move this over here a little bit. Position three, what is the weakness? What is the X's weakness as a person? What is their weakness as a person? Position four, how does the X feel for cancer? How does the X feel for cancer? Position five, how does Cancerians feel for the X? How do Cancerians feel for the X? Position five. Uh, position six, what were the strengths in the relationship between Cancerians and this person? When they were with them, what was the strength? What was the weakness in the relationship between Cancerians and the X? What was the weakness in the relationship between Cancerians and the X? Position eight, what is the potential of a reconciliation between Cancerians and this X? Show me. Position nine, can you just show me um, what is the overall analysis of this X? What's the overall analysis? What's the overall analysis of this X? Position nine, sorry, uh, ten. What is the major blockage to... Cancerians and this X reconciling. Position 11, if Cancer and this X reconcile, what would be the outcome of the relationship? And position 12, if the X should come back to Cancer wanting to reconcile, what should Cancerians do? Okay, right, so that just came out. Here we go. I don't know which way that... Here we go. Right, I need to put it that way, don't I? That's it. All right. Let's have a look. So I've got a little drink here. Um. So who is the ex in their life right now? They are the Seven of Cups. So this person possibly has lots of options. 
Because that's what happens when you've got a Seven of Cups. And, you know, it can be a pretty confusing card in a way, the Seven of Cups, because you can have lots and lots of options. But also, you might be quite confused with the Seven of Cups energy showing here. Um, you might, with this Seven of Cups energy, be a fantasist. So, you know, it might be that this ex has a lot of dreams, Cancerians. Might be that the ex has a lot of desires that they're tempted to go for with the Seven of Cups energy. Uh, they've got a lot of choices, a lot of options. I don't think that they're confused, though. I think this person has a lot of options at the moment. I think this person has a lot of desires. I think there's a lot of temptation around this person at the moment with the Seven of Cups energy. What are their strengths as a person? Two of Wands reversed. So the Two of Wands reverse is all about coming to a standstill. Um, no movement. But also, you know, the Two of Wands in the upright is all about being at this crossroads, you see. <clears throat> so when you get the Two of Wands in the upright, this is all about somebody who has to make a choice between two paths. I think if this had been upright and it had been this person's strength, it might be that this person's strength wasn't so much in making choices, but more being able to sort of tussle or juggle two paths at the same time. But I think in the reverse, their strengths are with the two of wands, energy being reversed, that they are um, a one street time of type of a person. Because the two of wands reverse is all about making a truce. And it's all about building that balance back again. So I think that, you know, with the two of wands as well, being reversed, this person is very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? See, in the upright, this person wants to venture towards a new venture. You know, they want to venture towards a new path. They're excited to explore uh, new opportunities, take new directions. But in the reverse, this person might want to stay where they are. Okay, so I think that this person's strengths are is that they don't, I would say with the two of wands reverse, this person doesn't have a lot of ambition with the two of wands in the reverse. I think their strengths are, you know, can you say that not having any ambition is a strength? Well, it could be, because it might be that if you stay and settle for what you have, that's a strength, because you don't feel the need to go out there and perhaps be disappointed, or perhaps be seeking that bright light, big city type of deal, you know, you're happy and contented with what you've got. I just feel be the two of wands in the reverse being this person's strength, they seem to be quite happy being at a certain level or being at a certain position in life. And they've also they've, they've almost um, uh, admitted that to themselves. They've almost said, you know, I'm happy where I am and I don't feel the need to venture out of my immediate community or my immediate uh, environment. But yet they've got a lot of... I think that, you know, this is really a juxtaposition between the both cards. I think on one hand, this person does have a lot of dreams with the Seven of Cups energy. I think they've got a lot of choices to make, and I think that they're tempted by many things. But their strength might be with the Two of Wands in the reverse, not going for that, because the Two of Wands in the upright would probably say, well, this person has a choice between two paths, because they're being given many choices with the Seven of Cups. But this person here, it seems that their strength is saying no to this, because they do have many options around them. But their strength is saying, well, actually, I'm going to fall back on those those options i'm not going to readily just rush in i think their strength is not to pursue and not to rush into things they seem to be deliberate a little bit and want to stay maybe in a comfort zone uh what is their weakness though page of wands in the reverse they know this person's interesting they seem to have a lot of fear this ex of yours cancer because the page of wands reverse is fear the page of wands reverse suggests somebody who uh is fearful to take a risk Somebody is fearful to come out of a comfort zone, page of wands in the reverse, being their weakness. And I, I would read this probably as them, because pages are energy, the same as knights. They are messengers, but they're also an energy. Um, the childlike energy of the page of wands energy, if you thought about this as being like an intern, this is somebody who goes through all sorts of departments, talking to all sorts of people. In the reverse, this person might be a little bit shy. So I think their weakness is shyness. I think this person does have a certain element of shyness about them with the page of wands in the reverse and but that's their weakness because their strength is is that if they don't have to make a move out of where they are and what they're doing then they won't do it with the two of wands in the reverse they tend to tend to stay at a standstill because probably their weakness is shyness with the page of wands in the reverse and also they've got a lack of curiosity as well i get the impression this is somebody who's really bored but I think that in their life right now, because they're showing as a Seven of Cups energy, I think that uh, 
their weaknesses shyness boredom page of wands reverse uh, fear, fear, fear to a certain extent with the Page of Wands. No imagination as well. I don't think this person has an imagination with the Page of Wands in the reverse because their strengths are that they've always, I think, with this Two of Wands in the reverse, never explored new territories. They've always been at one place, one, you know, they've always uh, sort of stood for what they can get, just took what they could get and never questioned it. But all of a sudden, it might be that they're very confused right now because of these energies. But I think that right now with the Seven of Cups, they've got a lot of decisions to make around that, to be perfectly honest. So I think that right now they do, they're showing there's a Seven of Cups because they may be confused actually. And also they've got a lot of decisions to make because there's lots of opportunities that might have come through for this person. But their weakness is boredom and shyness with the Page of Wands in the reverse. And fearfulness and a lack of dreams and a lack of, uh, a, a, a lack of curiosity with that Page of Wands in the reverse showing here. They don't seem to have a lot of ambition or curiosity. It's almost like they've had a curveball thrown at them in this energy here. How do they feel about you? The Six of Wands in the reverse. So I think that with the Six of Wands in the reverse, they feel a lack of confidence concerning you. A lot of reversals here. I didn't put reversals in this deck, but somehow they've turned up. When you get the Six of Wands reversed, you know, if this card is upright and you feel the Six of Wands for someone, you feel certain. You feel great. Uh, you feel that uh, this person is the one for you. You feel a sense of achievement concerning that person. You feel absolute kind of confidence and excitement and enthusiasm for that individual. But I think reversed, this person feels a lack of confidence concerning you. Um... I feel that right now they're not recognising you with this Six of Wands in the reverse. I think that in a way for some of you Cancerians, this person, for this person, you're kind of off the radar. They're not recognising you. For some of you, it might be that they didn't feel recognised by you with the Six of Wands in the reverse. But it's almost like they don't feel a sense of um, achievement, a sense of... Um, a sense of honour, a sense of... It's almost like they don't feel proud. Six of Wands means to feel proud of who you are and who the people are around you. But they don't feel proud of you at the moment with the Six of Wands in the reverse. You know, um, the Six of Wands in the reverse... Six of Swords is about returning when it's reversed. This is not. Six of Wands in the reverse means a lack of confidence. It means doubt. So I think that they doubt you to a certain extent, Cancerians. This individual with the Six of Wands being reversed. Uh, they don't feel, if you look at the upright, can you see how he's got his arms up there? He's like, yay, I made it. He's like, look at me. He's like, I am the champion of them all. That's what he's doing there. But in the reverse, he's like, no, no, no. You know, he's like, no, he doesn't feel like a champion reversed. So it's almost like he feels a lack of achievement. He or she feels a lack of achievement, a lack of accomplishment concerning you. And they don't feel proud of you. And they don't feel uh, a sense of... Um, uh, victory concerning you with this six of wands in the reverse they feel a great deal of lack especially in terms of their enthusiasm and excitement about you uh, it's, it's almost like they're not recognizing you at the moment how do you feel about them oh god the same thing the star in the reverse a lot of you guys have just given up hope star reverse means to give up hope you don't feel inspired anymore you don't some of you guys don't even feel that this person was a soulmate you might have felt that they were a false soulmate you might have thought that they were a false twin flame because you get false twin flames and false soulmates. So you don't feel that you don't feel that this person is aligned with you. They don't jive with you as well because the star. When you feel the star in the reverse for someone, you you don't feel a sense of hope. Some of you guys don't feel that this person's coming back because they seem to have given up on you. They seem to be like, I don't feel, uh, you know, I don't feel like pursuing this person. I also don't feel like pursuing you. Six of Wands reverse means I'm not going to pursue. You know, this person is not the one. And you're almost like you've given up faith and hope concerning this person. Concerians with the star in the reverse. Some of you guys might be feel, have felt quite ill. Some of you guys also with the star in the reverse feel that this person is completely out of reach to you with that star in the reverse as well. Um, what were the... I mean, it's really interesting, isn't it, the reading actually. But also what's interesting is who this person is. They just seem totally bored. But, you know, their weakness is shydom and boredom. But also I think, shyness and boredom, but also I think with the Page of Wands reverse, when you get the Page of Wands reverse, this person can just get bored like that. They get excited, but then they run out of steam real quick. So this person might get excited really quickly, but then quickly runs out of steam. 
Um, they seem very stuck in their ways. Their strength, they don't want to change anything with the Two of Wands in the reverse. They don't want to change anything. They don't want to explore new avenues, new journeys, new territories. They just want to stay stuck in one gear all the time. However, right now, they're faced with a lot of choices here with the Seven of Cups. We might get a, a clarity card on that, actually. Um, what is the... Uh, what were the strengths in this relationship when you were together? What the hell is this? Eight of Wands in the reverse was the strength. Why are these all freaking reversed? They're all bloody reversed. Well, no, no, they're all, they're not all reversed. Ah! How do we read Eight of Wands in the reverse as a strength? Well, out of ones in the reverse means no progress. Low vibration is the eight of ones in the reverse. Um, I think the strength we're not rushing into anything with this person, because eight of ones reverse means delays and setbacks and not rushing forward so quickly. So it's almost like your strength was that there wasn't anything that was rushed into, I think, with the eight of ones reversed. Uh, eight of Wands in the reverse means also blocked messages. So it's almost like things happened in this relationship with the Eight of Wands. It might be that you, uh, you know, you lost this person's number or this person lost your number. It might be with the Eight of Wands energy that you had a lot of setbacks in this relationship. But I get the impression that with that Eight of Wands being your strength, that this was kind of like a blessing in disguise with this Eight of Wands in the reverse being your strength. Because the weakness in this relationship was the Hermit. And I think that this person, I would probably read this person, as the hermit energy um, one of you was very withdrawn I think with this hermit energy or was seeking introspection with the hermit energy um, I'm just going to get another card and see what that hermit's looking into what is this hermit looking into what's the hermit what's the hermit looking into what's the hermit looking into The Ten of Swords reversed. Just put it, so whenever he looks this home, I want to see what he's looking at. Um, the weakness was the Hermit. And the Hermit's looking to release or to uh, try, yeah, try and release some form of a burden or some form of pain. Because the Ten of Swords in the reverse means recovery. So this person really wants to recover from something. The weakness was, I think that this person that you were with, you were with, was looking to try and recover with that Ten of Swords being reversed. I'm just going to see what this person's trying to recover from. What were they looking, what were they uh, trying to recover from? I think they were trying to recover from a past relationship. Six of Cups shows up here that they walked away from. Eight of Cups. You never truly had this person, did you, Cancerians? I think that the strength were in the setbacks with the Eight of Wands energy showing here in this relationship. Because this person was trying to recover. You can see the Hermit looking straight into that Ten of Swords reverse. This is all about recovery. The person's looking to recover. And what are they recovering about? A past relationship, a soulmate relationship that they walked away from. So they were never truly yours. And that's why their feelings for you are the six of wands reversed. Because this person's already got someone that they love. Cancerians. This person's already got someone that they're in love with. And somebody that they've never really recovered from. Because they walked away from a soulmate relationship. That six of cups. They walked away from... A past relationship, a soulmate connection with the Six of Cups energy. They walked away from it and they've been trying to recover from it. That's why they don't see you. That's why they don't feel very um, uh, victorious. They don't feel very that like they've made an achievement with you. Because it's nothing to do with you, Cancerians. It's to do with the fact that they've already got somebody on their mind. There's already somebody that they're in love with and somebody that they can't get over. What's the potential of Cancerians in this person reconciling? No. Knight of Cups reverse. There's no chance there with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. The Knight of Cups in the reverse is about endings. There's not enough love here. There's a lack of love. There's a lack of feeling. There's a lack of interest. That's your Knight of Cups in the reverse. 
if this person is a Pisces, Cancerians, they've got no interest in expressing love to you again. Showing their love. So if any of you guys are looking for someone, whether they're Pisces or not, to reconcile with you, this person is showing here, feelings being six of wands reverse and potential for reconciliation, knight of cups reverse. There's no offer of love coming here. Knight of cups in the reverse, there's no chance of a reconciliation. Who is this person overall? They are judgment in the reverse. Again, it keeps coming up. This person um, continuously makes mistakes with judgment in the reverse and they never learn from it. They make poor judgment. They make poor decisions. They make a lot of poor decisions because this is the faith card, but it's reversed. Like so. So judgment in the reverse means either that you aren't dealing with a situation. So this person doesn't deal with their situations. They don't deal with problems. Judgment reverse. They make poor decisions. Judgment reverse. They can't let go of the past. Judgment reversed. This is a very stuck individual I think I'm looking at here. Very, very stuck. What is the major obstacle to this person, to you and this person reconciling? The devil in the reverse. The obstacle is this person letting go. Devil reversed. And bet your bottom dollar that obstacle is to do with the person that they walked away from, the past, the soulmate that they walked away from. That's why they're not offering you love because the obstacle is them letting go of this energy here. That's the problem. They can't free themselves from, this is a very strong relationship that this ex of yours had with another individual, Cancerians. Very, very, very strong. This is devil upright shit in the Six of Cups, you know. Still bonded to that soulmate, to that past relationship. But the obstacle is letting go. The major obstacle in the stands in the way is the devil reverse. This person letting go of this energy here, which is why they don't come forward to you. If you were to come together, what would be the outcome? King of Wands in the reverse. This person would probably lie. King of Wands in the reverse. Uh, this person with the King of Wands reversed energy wouldn't be particularly loyal or reliable. Uh, this person in the reverse would make a lot of empty promises with the King of Wands in the reverse showing up here. This person would be a chameleon. They, the energy would be very unsteady with the King of Wands in the reverse. Remember, King of Wands upright is an entrepreneur. Whatever he wants, he goes for it. He's a company director, you know. He's the person that starts a business. He's highly ambitious. In the reverse, he loses all of that ambition. All you'd get is just complex shit in this relationship with the King of Wands in the reverse. You wouldn't know where you were from one day to the next. If this person should come back to you, though, Cancerians, what should you do? There you go. That's it. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Turn that fucker down, man. Sorry. It's true. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Cups in the upright is an invite. If you've got it reverse, you're turning out, you're turning the invite down. Uh, no, you'd have, you'd say no. End off. That is such, that is a freaking amazing reading. I've only done so far Scorpio and Pisces, and I'm, do, I'm starting with the water signs. So I've only done Scorpio and Pisces so far, but this by far has been the most enjoyable, and, in, and I'm not even going to bother drawing any clarifiers at all on this, but obviously on the website readings I always draw clarifiers for every single one of the areas but because I want to keep this shorter we don't do the clarifiers on it don't bother <laughs> don't bother what's the point turn the fucker down ace of cups in a reverse leave <laughs> just leave just leave it's reversed it's reversed there's no way you could be with a dude like this no chance. This person hasn't even forgotten about the person from the past. That's why they feel for you the Six of Wands in reverse. They feel that you're not the one. And you've given up hope. Your feelings are, well, star, I lack faith in this person now. I've given up hope. Some of you guys haven't even healed. Some of you guys feel really ill from the situation with the star in the reverse. So you guys are no longer hopeful of this situation or this person. Star reversed. 
Not because you want to be, but because you've had to be. You've just had to be. You've not had any choice. You really haven't. That's it. That's how your ex feels about you, darlings. Uh, as I've said, just repeat it one more time. On the private readings, clarifiers, I put on every single area of the card. Every single card, you get two to three, possibly more clarifiers. And the private readings are an hour to an hour and a half on the website. So they take a long time to do, to go through everything. But this is just kind of like an overview because it's YouTube and we want to keep it short and sweet. That's it, my Cancerians. No point in crying over spilt milk, is there? You'd know what to do anyway, would you? Turn the fucker down, Ace of Cups. I hate that when people have people who they still care about and they still love. And they're, you know, this person still hasn't gotten over. You can see the Hermit is looking into the Ten of Swords reverse. Ten of Swords in the reverse means recovery from pain. And the Hermit means to seek to look into. All right, so this person wants to. He's trying to find recovery. He's seeking recovery. That's what he's seeking. He's got his light turned towards Ten of Swords reverse. He's seeking recovery. Because he walked away from someone from his past. A soulmate. Six of Cups. I hate that when people get involved with others but they haven't gotten over their shit. That's one thing that really annoys me, you know? And, and you know what, the Cancerians, I think if this resonates with you, it wouldn't just be you that this person's done it to. This person will do it to every single person that they come in contact with because they just haven't gotten over their shit. They really haven't gotten over their shit. So, for any of you guys out there, and I hope you're not, I hope none of you are blaming yourself in this situation, because it's this person's problem, it's not yours, it's this person's issue. It ain't yours, it's theirs. And until they learn to get over their shit, you know, they're going to carry on hurting whoever they're hurting all the time. That's what they'll carry on doing. They'll just carry on hurting whoever that gets in their way. They'll just carry on doing, because they're bored. Their weakness is the page of wands in the reverse. They've got no ambition, they're bored. And they're fearful. Strength. Same thing. Strength is the two of wands. Reversed. Staying put. Staying in the same place. Never having to make a decision. Always wanting just to stay in the same place. Never going out there. But they're faced with choices at the moment with that seven of cups. But their weakness is the page of wands in the reverse. They don't want to do it. They want to stay in the same place all the time. This seems like a miserable bastard to me. Sorry, Cancerians, but they really do. And I think you're better off out of it. If it resonates with you, you're so much better off out of it because this person is no good for anyone until they've sorted themselves out. All right, love you loads, guys. See you on your generals. The general is sitting right next door to this one. Take care. Bye-bye.